Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. Today's video, we wanted to give you guys a demonstration of how you might use Microsoft Copilot. Copilot is an advanced AI chatbot, and we can use it to help analyze data, for example, or to help us come up with ideas or responses. Before we get started with the video, we wanted to let you guys know that we're actually running a Microsoft software giveaway. This giveaway is running through the month of January. One lucky subscriber will be randomly selected to win a license to any Microsoft software of their choice from our website. For a chance to win this prize, follow the steps in this video. Also, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right guys, so on the recent updates of Windows, we're gonna have Copilot directly available from our taskbar. If not, we could always hit the Windows key and just search for Copilot, and it's gonna be an integrated app on our PC. You'll actually notice Copilot integrated with some of the PC apps themselves, but for this tutorial, we're just gonna show you guys the actual Copilot app. So I can expand this and let's just start with a few prompts to see what this can do. As we can see, it's actually already saved some of my previous conversations. But let's go ahead and start with a new prompt and I can actually start a new chat. So for example, if I don't want this history to be considered for anything, I can actually just start a new chat. And inside of this chat, I could upload an image or I can actually drag and drop documents here as well. One thing that I like to use Copilot or AI in general for is to help analyze documents or agreements for you know hidden text or things that I might even potentially be concerned about. All right, so once we're inside of our new page here in Copilot, let's just start with some general questions. One thing that I actually frequently need help with is creating service agreements with my clients. Okay, so here's a prompt that I just finished typing and it says create a video production agreement between myself and client. This should cover basic legal protections in the state of Texas and establish payment and services. So just by giving it a prompt like this, again, I'm, I'm sort of being specific in terms of what do I want from this and who is going to be using this. Let's hit enter and just see what it creates. So now I could basically take this and copy and paste it into Word and I could use this as my template for sending over a video production agreement. Now, when making any medical or legal decisions, it is always best to consult with a professional in the industry first. So for example, I would have this looked over by an attorney before it actually goes out for signatures. But again, but again, the lengthy work of actually typing all of this out manually, I, I basically don't have to do that. Another thing I can do inside of Copilot is I could ask it about Excel functions. For example, let's say I want to use the XLOOKUP function. I could ask it to explain this function in Excel with an example. Let's see what happens. Again, I'm immediately getting a response here, and if, I may not have known how to use this function, but now I have a very simple explanation for how to do that. Now, in addition to helping with productivity, I could go back to this agreement that it made. Let's say I actually uh, select and copy this, and then I'm gonna paste it back in here, and I'm gonna say, write me a brief summary explaining what this document is stating. Okay, and then here we can actually see, for example, in more simple terms, what all the vocabulary is pointing to in an agreement. Now we could also use Copilot to learn and self-educate. For example, I'm gonna say, let's do a five question quiz for CompTIA A+. Please don't show me answers until I've guessed. Here's my prompt now. I said, let's do a five question quiz for CompTIA A+. Please don't show me the answers until I've guessed. All right, so let's go ahead and answer these questions. All right, so here is the quiz that it has presented me with. Let's go ahead and start answering this. I think number one is B. And the reason device manager gives you lots of options for diagnosing and basically changing your hardware settings on your computer. So I believe that the answer is B, but we will actually prompt it for explanations after this. For number two, the most common type of network cable used in ethernet is a twisted pair. So that's C, I believe. And then number three here, which component is responsible for converting AC power from the wall outlet into DC power for a computer's internal components. This is going to be the work of our power supply unit. So that one is also B. Number four is going to be A. Okay, and then number five is C. Let's see how I did. Okay, so I got them all correct. Let's say I got some of these incorrect. I'm gonna ask it to give me an in-depth explanation for each question. Okay, and we'll just walk through. Device Manager is a Windows tool that allows you to view and control the hardware attached to your computer. So again, we're getting a full explanation here underneath the correct answer. If we want, we can further prompt this and say, give me an explanation for all of the incorrect answers. 
And basically we could use this to learn as little or as much as we want to. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If, if you have any questions about using Copilot, be sure to drop those in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, for steps to enter our software giveaway, watch the video right here. If you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software for a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. As our channel grows, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas to make. If you have any video topic ideas you'd like for us to cover, we'd love for you to let us know what that is in the comments. Most of these requests get made into actual videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.